All right, everybody, welcome to Max Data. It's Julian here today. It's uh, 31 of uh, August, and today we will, of course, discuss on chain data metrics. But remember, before we will start, that nothing in this video is a uh, financial advice. So uh, let's start it. And uh, in one in one minute i will show you the charts all right so let's start with uh, our tool so our tool last uh, hours uh, showed us that uh, the huge amount of bitcoins uh, outflow of from uh, stop pot exchanges and from this uh, notification you as a user uh, were able to earn money on Bitcoin on the cryptocurrency market because from this, this point uh, prices went up. It uh, went up about uh, 2% till uh, from that moment uh, till till now. So uh, let's uh, look at this. This uh, was the that outflow and right now uh, is about 1%. Here was about 2%. So yeah. Uh, so looking observing only this uh, this tool our tool you were able to gain uh, such profits so this is a tool for traders you can uh, you can use it also we 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 saw a little amount of uh, stable coins a little amount uh, of inflow of stable coins all right and uh, let's uh, look at uh, the Bitcoin. Bitcoin price is 47,000, uh, 48,000, 49,000. It's moving in this uh, channel. And uh, look, look at the moment at, 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 at this inflow of stable coins. Stable coins inflow here. Uh, this is the moment uh, of Elon Musk uh, telling that uh, Tesla will start accept uh, payments in, in Bitcoin. Uh, this is the moment that uh, the price is going from 38 to uh, 46,000 in just an hours. And the same man who uh, did this, <laughs> who did this uh, bull, uh, bull run, bull. Uh, bull bull candle <laughs> green candle the same man elon musk uh, did uh, this dump of price uh, because right here he said uh, that uh, bitcoin is uh, is too um, it's non-ecological uh, uh, use too much too much uh, energy too much uh, consume too much energy so uh, the tesla will stop accepting bitcoin in payments and prices of course went massively down look at this moment uh, again a massive inflow of stable coins on spot exchanges so somebody wants to uh, buy something on uh, this uh, on these spot exchanges and at this moment at this point the same man again third time said about bitcoin that bitcoin is good at uh, the b world conference uh, online conference he said that bitcoin is good but he uh, recommend uh, bitcoin again again etc etc and bitcoin started to uh, rising again again bitcoin started rising the price and right now here everybody are uh, waiting for uh, big uh, uh, big fail of bitcoin pro probably to uh, forty two thousand dollars uh analyzing only tech only charts uh, it's it's probably forty two thousand dollars but uh, we saw a few days ago that big inflow of stable coins again and the big inflow of stable coins uh, again is telling us that it may be a sign for uh, another another increase of value of, of bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies again it may be a big sign to uh, to buy B but before the prices will go up it m the price may go down maybe to forty two thousand dollars so uh, right now you have to and we have to uh, just uh, uh, just calculate is it profitable for us to wait uh, maybe to that uh, level of forty two thousand dollars or 
uh, rather to buy uh, because uh, everybody everybody assume that Bitcoin will uh, cost much more than now that what he, uh, what he, what he cost what it costs uh, right now all right so uh, let's uh, look at this uh, this area closely so so this is it uh, and right now as you can see uh, not big movements on on chain uh, so uh, let's uh, look a little bit little deeper at this area right here lower low lower high lower high lower high lower high lower low lower low lower low lower low all right and this is it and right now it's uh, it's big outlaw of bitcoins from spot exchanges inflow and 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 uh, price is rising inflow of stable coins on spot exchanges the price is rising a little inflow of uh, of bitcoins the price is going down all right okay and uh, look at uh, the miner flows so what miners are sending to spot exchanges out of their wallets Mo many many times uh, they are uh, really really active the price uh, change its course so uh, when they s sell more much the, the price changes its course right now uh, the price is up uh, in in uh, uptrend but uh, last days they again sent something out of their wallets so it may also right now be um, uh, again a signal to uh, to sell to uh, the because the price may go to forty two thousand dollars maybe probably but of course uh, before that uh, that bitcoins should uh, should be on spot exchanges so somebody has to put that bitcoins on spot exchanges probably in most times in most times all right again a another another uh, chart blue is the price of bitcoin green is addresses uh, with a balance of bitcoin plus 10000 bitcoins and uh, the uh, pink one is bit ad addresses number of addresses uh, of bitcoins uh, plus 1000 bitcoins and uh, look at um, that both both of them they stop to sell in stop to sell in uh, their bitcoins and right now they are just waiting probably for who knows for 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 for, for something but they're not selling right now they're not selling right now so uh, it may be again signal in long term to buy but again in short term to uh, to sell all right and SOPR just at SOPR okay and again and we are looking for mm, this uh, kind of big inflows like here so the price will go uh, the price may go down right now we don't see any kind of inflow and a kind of big inflow uh, I mean any kind of big uh, mm, I don't know how to say it but you know what I mean okay uh, so right now there is no signal to buy looking at this indicator and my net realized net and realized profit and losses nope so at this point 50 uh, 56 57 50 here 50 here 56 something here I mean here and here many many times uh the the price changed course so uh, this time it may be uh, may maybe again the price may change its course but of course <laughs> but of course we have to uh, observe on-chain data and uh, look if there what is going on up there what is going on up there because the price may go up massively right now uh, and it may go down and nobody knows until it uh, until some bitcoins uh, will 
uh, inflow uh, on spot exchanges. So we have to observe spot exchanges. People are greedy right now. People are greedy right now. People are uh, greedy right now. And uh, retirees in El Salvador protest again. Bitcoin adoption. They worry that the government will start paying their pensions in Bitcoin instead of the US dollar. So it's funny. And this photo is really, really funny. I'm uh, considering who who paid for uh, for uh, this uh, paintings. Uh, who paid them to sit there uh, to uh, to to protest? <laughs> I'm just I'm just thinking, guys. And of course, International Monetary Fund (IMF) is saying that adopting Bitcoin in El Salvador is an in inadvisable shortcut <laughs> and what else they can say you know they can say only they can only say things but they can do nothing because you know when somebody wants to use bitcoin uh, it's out of anyone uh, willing to use bitcoin if somebody wants to use uh, blockchain uh, bitcoin ethereum etc nobody can uh, prevent uh, them to do it if they have uh, access to internet they can do it and uh, they are of course country and this is the first time the country is accepting payments in bitcoin officially but uh, in my opinion there may be many many countries uh, going after the salvador uh, and uh, do the same thing because what else they can do bitcoin is the mm, probably the most trusted currency in the world right now uh, with uh, almost 10,000 nodes uh, spread it worldwide and uh, you, you know nobody can influence bitcoin right now nobody so right now the bitcoin is most trusted it's, it's deflationary uh, so what else they can do the, uh, such countries like salvador or panama or uruguay argentina they can do the best thing for them and the best thing for them is uh, go with technology and technology is bitcoin is technology blockchain is technology that's why they uh, started using it and joel paulson the manager of uh, fund uh, or hedge fund manager he leads uh, paulson and co he's worth over three and a half billion dollar and he said that bitcoin is worthless Housing bubble bil billionaire says, just just don't try betting on a uh, decline. But what he said, uh, instead of that Bitcoin is worthless, he said also that he won't tr uh, won't try to uh, short on Bitcoin. Won't won't recommend to short on Bitcoin because that that's not the case with Bitcoin. Bitcoin has gone gone from less than twelve thousand uh, dollars a year ago. To almost fifty thousand dollars today, while Dogecoin, a crypto favorite of Tesla CEO Elon Musk, is up more than eight thousand percent over the past year. Those are enough big. Uh, those are big enough moves to wipe out any short seller. There's unlimited downside, says Paulson. It's too valuate to short. So I agree with that. I, I don't agree with that uh, Bitcoin is worthless. Why? Because Bitcoin is uh, solving the big problem of third party in uh, in in uh, in 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 finances, uh, in finance uh, markets. Because uh, previously the, the banksters, uh, the, uh, the the organizations, the companies had to. And be a third party in uh, in our transactions. They have to provide our, uh, us uh, security. They had to provide us uh, that uh, that trusted uh, that feeling that we trust them. You know, they they are not necessary right now. And uh, right now, using Bitcoin and using blockchain technology is really really uh, is really useful for people. It, it makes things faster, makes finances faster, makes finance, finances cheaper. So in the long term, uh, Bitcoin is really, really valuable and blockchain is really, really valuable. So I assume that this guy is don't know what he's talking about or he's talking like this to uh, to buy Bitcoin uh, just cheaper. 
you know, and uh, that I can understand. And uh, the Bitcoin stock to flow model and uh, from Fidelity, Fidelity showed us uh, last days uh, this kind of prediction, uh, assuming that uh, in 2023 Bitcoin will be worth around $100,000, in 2026 around $1 million, in 2030, uh, 31 around 10 million and uh, 2036 35 around 100 million dollars guys so if you are if you are thinking right now if you are considering right now uh, to buy bitcoin or, or not to buy bitcoin at the price of uh, 47 thousand dollars because it may uh, dump to for, uh, 42 thousand dollars okay i un understand if you are trading all right but in long term, uh, Bitcoin can can do uh, one thousand percent, two thousand percent. You know, uh, it's it's another uh, it's another level of thinking. If you will uh, treat Bitcoin uh, long term as people um, who bought Bitcoin at ten dollars or one dollar, and they uh, they keep it bit that Bitcoins till now, and they don't sell it till uh, till today. So if you will buy Bitcoin or any or other cryptocurrencies right now and you will look at these currencies uh, in long term, really, really long term, you won't sell it uh, this cycle, next cycle and next cycle. You will just keep it uh, because you will understand a huge, huge potential in this market but because this market is right now uh, at uh, at uh, really, really at, at beginning about uh, half percent of uh, population use uh, cryptocurrencies use bitcoin uh, look at uh, the look uh, at uh, how how fast uh, the uh, the users of internet the users of uh, telephone uh, of mobile phones uh, spread around the world and right now we are at the uh, very beginning of that uh, of that run of blockchain technology and, and Bitcoin. So uh, next uh, years and next decades will be looking at huge adoption of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, in my opinion. So people who will treat this long term will earn most. So that's all for today, guys. Uh, another thing is about uh, also I will add about Willy Wu. Who, uh, who said that uh, that the cycles of Bitcoin will won't look as uh, as, uh, as as uh, as in <laughs> won't be the same in next in next cycles won't be the same next cycles will be different he said look at this video and of course remember to analyze on chain data remember to look at uh, metrics and news read the news all right thanks a lot and have a good day